What up, film family? In today's video, we're gonna talk about two expired rolls that I shot on the Pentax ME Super. So I ended up shooting two expired rolls. The first one was Kodak Gold 100 ISO. Ended up rating it at 50 ISO. The second was Kodak Professional 400 TX 400. I ended up rating it at 200 ISO when I shot the roll. And stay tuned for the results. The first roll that I shot was Kodak Gold 100 ISO expired. I ended up rating it at 50 ISO. I expected the colors in this roll to be distorted, but that's the thing about expired film is that you lose the ability to kind of know or predict how the outcome is gonna be. And some of the photos, they were very, very distorted to the point where I was not a fan of them at all. From the way that the film and the images came out, I can only assume that the film was not stored properly, refrigerator or even in just room temperature, it wasn't kept that way. But because of my top photos and how I liked the photos, I did do a lot of editing to show you guys what you can go from the lab scan to how I remember it being that day. So the first color top photo that I liked was the rubber ducky. I saw it there and this is like a horse stable and I, I put it right there in the roll third corner and I shot it. I When I first saw this photo, I was pretty upset. There's a lot of greens that I didn't want in the photo. So in the color corrected version, uh, this is how it turns out. And there's a lot more yellow tones and reds to kind of get the photo to how I expected it or how I remember it felt to be that day. So the second top photo is of Kodak painting on that tree there. This photo I had to add a contrast, which made the photo kind of feel more the feel that I was going for. It's kind of like a dark scene and he's just going over there, uh, painting on a tree, marking his territory. This is a really good one. I was driving pretty early in the morning and I saw this scene and this is of the tree and then the sun coming or the sun rising right right through it and the lights go into it very beautifully and you can see it in the video footage that I show in the vlog but when I got the results or when I got the scans back that this was a terrible image which is the whole thing is like the the lab has no idea how it was when you were there that day so they don't know how to color correct or how to edit to your liking they just kind of scan it and then add some sharpening and and whatever they think looks good compared to what the film is. My last color top photo was of these trees and you can see the kind of like the fog coming in on the right side. I'm finding out that I like photos with a lot of layers. So I like the rocks and then the path leading you in. You see those trees and you see the fog, that kind of mountain in the background 
and it's just beautiful to me. And originally, again, I saw the photo and there was a lot of orange and green. Again, this is expired film, this is what you're gonna get. But I'm also just showing you guys that you can fix the photos to come out more to your preference so that you don't have to just throw away these this film or just get rid of these images. I guess call them usable photos. So now moving on to the Kodak T-Max black and white film. I did end up seeing that I like these photos more off the bat, as in like from the scans from the lab. It also might be that I was able to find a lot of scenes that didn't lose its significance with the absence of color. That's how I try to shoot black and white with a lot of layers or with a lot of interesting contrast and lighting. The black and white film, you know, photos came out well, but one thing I did notice that if I did miss the metering on this expired film, it wasn't as forgiving as like fresh film. I guess that's an the, another thing to know what when you shoot expired film, the film is a lot less forgiving if you don't get the metering spot on. If you're one of those people who can get it spot on, you won't get as weird looking photos as, as someone who's barely learning how to meter and some of this, when I missed, I missed and you can just tell the photos were not 100% there when I missed the metering. Even though um, this photo is kind of gray and I like a lot more contrast, the photo from my top photo is of Kodak here at the dog park. You can kind of see another lady and her dog in the background and he's just doing his hero pose, I call it. I think this is a great photo. It just looks more vintage because of the way it came out, but this is a great photo. I like this photo a lot. So my second top photo for the black and white is the do not enter kind of like signs that they have there or set up 
I like it because it, it looks very dark. Um, obviously, like this is just like a zone. They're doing COVID testing and vaccinations, but it's like an empty parking lot and they have this do not enter sign and it's early in the morning still. So I took this photo and it just looks creepy, I guess. And I like that, like I said in my previous vlog, creepy photos are kind of cool to me. I like photos with a strong feel and this definitely gives it. My third top photo is of this. When I got closer, I found out it was uh, a mother and daughter situation going on, but I really like the way I composed this photo. Again, I like that path coming in from that roundness and then it's going around and then they are the main subject and you can see, and there's a lot of layers in this photo, the trees, you can see that kind of fountain in the water, the buildings behind, the skyline, and then that mountain trees going on there so it's definitely a favorite from the role. My fourth top photo is of this benches and then that tree. I just think it's a uh, it's not really my style. I don't do this a lot but it's kind of like a, a portrait of these benches. I just really like how they look like they're strong and then it was kind of foggy that day so you can see the fogginess in the background but I like how strong those benches look and you can really see the detail in this shot. I really like this photo as well. This is a, at the Japanese tea garden that I went with my brother. There's a person wearing gray or white colors and there's someone wearing black and the bushes are just covering their face but you get the element that people are there but you don't really get to see their face and I think it came out really well. There's obviously a lot of trees. This is, uh, sometimes I don't like black and white because of this because a lot of it just looks gray and very similar gray. But this works out because there's a lot going on in the middle. So these are three top photos that I like. I like the photo of this Japanese entrance building. And it looks like a building, but it's actually just a pathway. But I like the way, the feel that you get from the first photo that I took. It's just a photo of the building. And then the portraits of, of my brother, how they came out. Very sharp, good quality. I feel like he could definitely use this on a Tinder profile if he wants to pull some ladies. Very impressed by how these photos came out. Definitely, definitely good quality, which is what I kind of expected from the Kodak T-Max, even though it was expired. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button for me if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and comment any questions or concerns down below. And as always, guys, happy shooting.